Hey guys, in this Spark AI Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a tournament filter like this for your Instagram. I have created a blog which makes it very simple to create a filter like this. And of course, you can download this blog for free. Yeah, you can use your own graphics for this filter um, instead of the, those numbers. But yeah, those are just placeholders to show you the functionality of this filter. But of course, you can also download those assets to follow along this tutorial. So yeah, I would say let's start. Hey again, so let's create this tournament filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating, please make sure you have downloaded all the assets we need to create this filter. So just go to the description of this video and click on the download link. Then you will end up on this site and here just click on download. After the download is done, please make sure that you find the downloaded folder and unzip it. Then you will find the assets folder and a tournament block folder in it. In the assets folder, there are all the graphics we need to create this filter, but you can use your own graphics here to personalize this filter. Those are just graphics to show you the functionality of this filter. I have created all my assets in Sketch, but of course you can use Photoshop, Illustrator or Canva. Just make sure all the assets are in a squared format. Here are all assets are in 1024 by 1024 pixels. Those are the pictures that will be above the head. You have to decide those. This is the placeholder and this is just yeah, an element between the two options. But let us just create this filter and you will see how all the graphics will show up in the filter. So, and then we can already import all of those textures. So just select all the textures and then just drag and drop it into your assets panel of your Spark AR project. When the import is done, please make sure you set the compression to all of the graphics to none. For this, just select all the graphics in the assets panel Go to the right hand side and set the compression from automatic to none. So the next thing we have to import is the AR block for this project. Because I have created an AR block which makes it very simple to create this tournament filter. So go back to your, to your, filter, uh, to your folder we have just downloaded, go to the tournament block and then drag and drop the tournament.ar block into the assets panel as well. So after this is done, you can see the tournament block under blocks in your assets panel. And now we have to drag and drop the tournament block into the scene of our project. So now we can already see some white yeah, squares on the screen above our head and also here is the tournament map with all the options. So now we have to make sure that the textures we have imported are placed here so they are displayed here. So let's do this. When you click on the tournament block we have just imported to our scene, you can see on the right hand side there are a lot of inputs and now we have to make sure that all the textures we have imported are on the right place here. So I have already named them here. So texture 1 to 16. Then here are the placeholder and the or texture and also some settings about the scale. The filter is created that you can insert 16 options to your tournament. So let's make sure all the um, option textures are set here as an input for our block. So texture 1 gets of course the 0, 1 texture and so on. Yeah, This is the only hard work we have to do to create this filter. So just make sure you don't select one twice or you yeah, added everything. So here this would be 8, 9, so now you can already see there are some um, graphics already above my head. When I restart the filter, it starts with one, three, four, five, six, and also 
the tournament map is filling up with the options I have just selected. So when I select here 8, here will show up 8. So the next thing is to set up our placeholder picture. So again, select the tournament block, go to the right hand side and here for the placeholder, select the placeholder texture. So now all the question marks are in the right place. So for the R texture, also select this. This is the thing in between. So it says three or four, or when you have movies, movie one, movie two, or any other object you want to use as set, you can just use your own graphics for this. So, and now the filter is already finished. Now you can, yeah, as you can see, you can play it through. And when you are good with all the the sizes and everything, your filter is ready to go. So last one will also be in the middle of the head and here on the middle of the map. So now I will just explain you all the settings you can do here on the block. So select the block and then you will see here when you open this up a little bit more scale face selection. This is the size of the selection above the head. So you can set this to, let's say, 0.5. So it's, it's much smaller or 0.8. It's a little bit bigger than the scale of the tournament itself. So also when you set it to 0.5, it's much smaller. And yeah, I will leave it to one. Then the scale of the tournament items. Um, and I set it from 0.25 to 0.4. All the items are bigger, but I leave it at 0.25. The scale for the tournament finalist here is also adjustable. When I set it to five, it's bigger. And yeah, position of the tournament is where this is located on the screen. At standard is minus 0.13. So when I set it to minus 0.05, it's more like in the middle of the screen. So you can adjust this too and the position of the face selection. At the moment is at 0.12. When I want it a little bit higher, I set it to 0.15. So now it's a little bit higher. And then you have also a checkbox at the end, which says intro animation. So when I restart the filter, you see there is an animation that all the things are slowly fading in. When you yeah, uncheck this, there is no animation so yeah but i think with the animation it looks a lot yeah nicer and then underneath intro animation there are the r position and the r scale this is this thing here in the middle so you can set this r position let's say to 0.1 and it's above all those things but I leave it to zero and also the scale of this object. So you make, can it make it bigger or even smaller. But I think 0.4 is a great value for this. So yeah, this was all the magic about how to use this tournament block I have created. This is a very simple approach to um, yeah, create this tournament filter. And yeah, if you want to see how the tournament block is coded or you want to change some specific parts of this filter, you can open the block when you go to the assets panel and double click on the block. Then there, um, there will another Spark AR um, window pop up and here you can see how, how this block is, is created. So let's dock this again. Here is all the, yeah, all the patches I used to create this filter block. But yeah, when you want to see how this is created, you can do this. So, so I will close this again. Just make sure you save the block when you do some changes. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, it would be nice when you subscribe to the channel so yeah make some cool tournaments and we will see us in the next video so yeah see you bye